Ladies and gentlemen, what's the bottom line? Gambling Don't what? gamble. Gambling's Stop. super All stupid. All the young players in the NBA don't gamble. <laughs> it's super stupid. It's, <laughs> it's gambling super vets. stupid. It's super stupid. stupid. Super stupid. Um, we just we, talked for like 20 yeah, minutes about, about gambling. gambling. My gosh. That's just uh, part of it. the stories, though. People all want to know what goes on on NBA airplanes. When you guys travel from city to city, Road Trip and tried to bring you the closest to We got to kicked that. out. Yeah, we got kicked out when Off we started Road Tripping on the airplane. They oh, kicked us to out. Do a, uh, we did like three on the plane. We and did then, three, and then they got mad at us. Understandably, like, you know the fun. trainers, the equipment guys, like the plane is the only time they sleep because they're unloading the bags, they're doing all the space. equipment. So like we would go back to that little open table, but they would all be just trying to relax. We would be hammered, like, you know, doing whatever we're doing. Then we would leave, and these guys are like, dude, we got to unpack the bags off the plane. Then we got to get to the hotel, deliver all bags. So they're like, can you guys just let us sleep or just let us do respect what we got to do? So you respect, respect it. it. I was mad. <laughs> uh, okay, so from creative director of Bleacher Report. The gambling. To, that's my title today. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's all I know you as from now on. Um, to your thoughts about the heat. Um, wine. Let's talk about wine. Let's talk about wine. Channing. Channing. And Dwayne. Now you What's can up? speak again. <laughs> now your turn to talk. Let's talk about, story, let's talk about the chosen oh, family. You, what was your story? Tell us your story. No, What's tell, your tell, story? Tell, no, tell us your gambling story because I know you got one. I know tell you've seen so some a gambling so story. I was on the Knicks and we used to play poker. And the rookie, I, I'm not going to say names, but a rookie was going up against a vet who at the time say just names. had a new $30 million contract. I can't do that. <laughs> so the rookie plays poker very by the books, right? I, he used to play online poker. So he would play very structured poker. Like if he didn't have a good hand, he'd be out. Boom, boom, boom. The, the vet was playing what I call drinking poker where he would drink, he had a bottle of vodka next to him, and he would just take shots, random shots on ice. <laughs> for like, But he's a big boy. So now he's drinking half a bottle of vodka. Drunk James. And so the pot, <laughs> drunk game for sure. So the pot is now at $30,000, right? It, it, it was like money, and then they put blank checks up. You had to bring <laughs> two blank checks. Oh, Sorry, mm, two blank checks that's... on the plane to say, like, hey, how much is this going? Mm, so I he like put that. up the keys to his truck, to his new Escalade. As in, the other guy put idea. his keys to his other truck. Oh, no it way. It ended up being around, like, $56,000, right, in one pot. One pot. That finger crooked, but, yeah, keep going. <laughs> Sorry, just okay, dude. Just okay. Jeez, I just didn't know okay. where you were going. No. I know you were pointing to Richard, me, <laughs> <Ali>. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on with that finger. I got one too, though, so don't even worry about it. I keep yeah, it tight. Is, is it the pinky? Is it the pinky? It's the pinky. 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 Zoom in on my pinky. Why are you zoom pinky? in on our, on our finger? Look yeah, at, nah, look at this. Nah, look nah, at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ew. That look like it's you got a bunion on your pinky toe. <laughs> My pinky look pregnant, on your, bro. On your pinky yeah, uh, yeah. finger, you got a bunion. I had nice hands before the NBA. I just want to say that. My bad, Channing. Go ahead. So, no, you no, long story right. short. So, this is a one-hour flight, though. That's the problem. Oh, so, those are the worst flights. The, 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 yeah, one, the, the quick flights are the worst flights. Because people want to throw money in fast. Throw money. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about gambling like we got a, like we promoting gambling right I now? I literally said you guys have to talk about Presented about by FanDuel. Presented by FanDuel. So, so, so the guy, the vet, had three three jacks. So he was sw swore he was going to win. I think he had a full house. I think he had three jacks and two, two twos or two threes. The rookie had four kings and like an uh, like ace and an ace back or something like that. So it was like crazy. This dude took his bottle of vodka and broke it over his knee. Oh, jeez. Yes. Wrote the check, $56,000 right there, signed it, bow. Our GM, our coach said, hey, no more gambling. <laughs> the fat. The vet, yeah. Also, people were also playing craps in the back, right? With hundred dollar bills, it was it was a show on the Knicks. But <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. They the build up of this, the owner James Dolan was there. Isaiah Thomas. We had all the coaches looking at one hand of poker because there were watches on the table. Oh, keys on nah, see, that's, mm, when you start. Wait, that, so like when you're throwing your keys in, like you're giving stupid. your car? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah it's like, just yeah. like, it's like, you're putting it up. you see cloud. Fast or Furious, oh where you're God. like racing over. for pink slips? <laughs> yeah, no, it's collateral. You got to put up collateral. Yeah, you got to put up collateral. I need my money. Mm. 
Because yeah. if I got your keys to the car, if I got your keys to the car, you gonna pay me my money. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's for that. It's like collateral. Yeah, You're not like collateral. your car is not like, but it's just more like here. But people have done crazy things. Like guys have like had to purchase cars and like we're telling you stuff that is like that happens maybe in the entire NBA like one time. Like between yeah, right. us, we've played 50 but years right. of the NBA. Like the this is not like yeah. all the time. This is over 50 years combined <laughs> of NBA stories. But like it happens all the time. Jock Vaughn, my guy, he stopped playing cards with Rod Thorne. Rod Thorne, who was a notorious gambler, he used to play with us all the time. He was um, former GM, drafted me, drafted Jordan and then work for the NBA for many years. But he would come back and gamble with us, and he was our GM. But he would gamble like, yeah, oh, it was awesome. But he was funny to the point, though, like he would start losing, and he would be like, no good mother lover <laughs> can't make a damn jumper once nine straight flushes. Like, what's going on? Like, and we would be dying. That's probably we, dangerous. To, yeah, to, so to that's why John Bond was like, yo, I, I can't play cards. I can't have a dude that, like, is like my boss calling me X, Y, and Z, right? And then, like, think, like, we're still cool. Because, like, Rod would be, like, one of the guys and just be, like, seriously, he would be sitting there dealing, just no good sucker <laughs> thinks he Yo, I love, hey, can't I make a, this my life. I should have tra <laughs> traded his, like, to your life. <laughs> he's standing right here, Rod. Rod, what are you doing? Can I get some of that, uh, that other one? I was going to say, I don't know. Which one? Do you, Which you want go? the silver? You want, want the whispering? silver or the whispering? He doesn't want silver. You want whispering? Want Nobody can see inside the Yeti. Let me get that light skin one. That light skin. Hey, ho, ho, Let me get that Channing Let me get that Channing Richard. Let me get that, let me get that, that Channing Richard. Just, <laughs> no, 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 no. Richard's research. way lighter than me. Stop so, it. speaking whoa, of. Whoa. Speaking I of am. wine, what's going on in the wine world? The wine industry, you two winemakers. We've got Wade Sellers. I Wade. So, he weighs way bigger than me. No, 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 no. First of all, Channing and I both are very young in the wine space, right? Obviously, Chan as you guys know, and I'm sure it's annoying because Chan Channing is annoying, is it's a lot to learn <laughs> about wine. And when you learn a little bit, you want to be like Channing and talk about everything you learned. Yes. Yeah. But with that being said, like one thing that's been cool about this industry is this is, this is normally our job, is to dr drink wine, talk about wine, taste wine, like get some notes from wine. Uh, this is a great job to have. But... Yeah. For me, I, f I feel like my brand is st it started seven years ago, but really the last two years is when I really have jumped into the wine space. Um, so for me, it's just a passion project that, you know, it's turned into like a business now. And uh, we just, we're trying to keep our costs, you know, pretty reasonable for the most part. I feel That's like we what are, I appreciate. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to. Like my, this, now, this wine right here, this is my, this is the flagship of my brand. It's the Wade Cab, and it costs $95, okay. right? 90 to $95, depending. And my, but the rest of my wines, like this is like $20. Mm -hmm. And my other, my other wines, my red wines is like $35. My rosé is $15. So we try to keep it at a reasonable price and put great juice in the bottle. Um, but I got some great wine makers in Napa Valley that do some amazing, an amazing job for us. So it's been cool for me and Channing because we obviously got a cool relationship. But now we both are in the wine space. And so now we have conversations more about wine. And so me, I'm excited that me and him are going to try to figure out a way to like, take some time out our day to talk more about wine and kind of uplift other wine brands, especially black winemakers, uh, because they don't get a lot of exposure in this industry. Uh, so, you know, wine, 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 drink, 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 have fun. Up next on Road Trippin'. If I, you know, cheers you and I look in your eye, we got a guzzle. Oh. So my question is, this is like a true, like a fan thing. How many cases of wine do you have per year? Or how many acres do you have? And then I can do the cases. What, cases of, you talking about weight wine? Yeah, total. How many cases well, per year do you sell of weight wine a year? Okay, so going back to your first, so we source, we source our grapes, right? Right, So totally. for, for the weight brand, our grapes are sourced. So let's talk about this wine. This wine right here comes from Oakville and Napa, right? Oakville right. and Napa is one of the, what is, everyone talks about Oakville and Napa is one of the greatest source for great soil. Right when it comes to wine, right, right? right? So I just came out with a 2018, and 2018 was one of the best vintage in the last past decade in Napa. So oh, right. we source our grapes from different places in Napa. Uh, everybody always asks, you got a tasting room, you got all this. I'm like, no, we kind of source our grapes, and we got great relationships with the Paul Meyer family um, to, you know, make our wine. So we don't have uh, all that. We're not there yet. We're you small. don't own a particular no. vineyard. No, we no, we source. Not yet. Do you? Grapes. Not, not yet. Not yet. No, no, no. Not yet. No, but totally one not. day, hopefully, but not yet. No. And what was the, well, what, how what many, the next question? Okay, how many acres is that vineyard? 
Uh, well, the different vineyards is different acres. I don't know to know all the acres. Oh, okay, but okay. I don't even know the acre of my house, uh, James. Why are you gonna ask me that? <laughs> Damn! But with that being said, acre? with that being said, let, let me say this: we do like we don't do like large, like maybe say let's say this the way cap. Maybe we did 500 cases of this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like so, yeah. we we keep our cases depending on like we're we're trying to grow. You know, obviously it's been a tough time, but the wine industry actually has taken a jump in the pandemic because everyone's drinking. Everybody's drinking. Um, so we got more <laughs> accounts, but you know, more more accounts mean we got to put more money in, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, it's kind of we're trying to grow as our brand is growing and people want want more of our wine. Uh, so we kind of started off very small. Um, I actually started my wine brand in Asia before I brought it to the States oh, because wow. of my brand in China. And China is about, they, like... They love a, wine they over love there. Wine. It was, they it was, love wine. They love, like, yo, they so, love wine. That's crazy. like... Yeah, so that's where this came from. This is an Asia script, right? Oh, okay. This is three in, in China, right? So the, my number three, three by way. Oh, it's awesome. Really? So clever. Yeah. Details. Wait, Details, but in baby. China, they Details. buy, like, they, like when they have, like, wine auctions of, like, the most exclusive wines in the world, like, they say, like, the Chinese, like, people, they buy them and drink them. Yeah. Like, they're not, like, they into, like, store. They ain't hold, they're not, they don't have wine cellars and, like, all of these mm. vintages. and No, they, like, buy it and Listen, drink it. Let me tell you how they drink wine. The culture wine. is consumption, though. It's not taste. Like, in America, Facts. we're like, we want the taste. They want label and consumption. So, like, if this is $10,000, they want to drink this with everyone as a yes. representation of where they are in their class or it's wild. We're like, they don't give a if this tastes good or not. They're like, this is ten thousand dollars and you don't have none. Yeah, like I so how they do it in China too. Like so I've done many wine tastes in China and when I go over leaning with my China tour, I will also do my my wine tour at the same time. And so a lot of times when you go to these big events and it's a round table with, with my, my wines or whatever the case may be. Everybody want to, everybody got to do a cheers. First of all, in China, everybody stand up and do a cheer, a cheers wow. around the table. So yeah. every time everyone do a cheer, you got to drink. But then when they come over to you and if I, if I, you know, cheers you and I look in your eye, we got to guzzle. Oh, 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 no. like, oh, that's, that's, that's what? the thing. And that's with any liquor. If I, if we cheers and you look me in the eye in China, we guzzling. We what taking if, it what if, to the head. <laughs> what if I came up to ah. you to cheers you, but you just look down? Then you ain't got to go. <laughs> but if you look me in my eye, that means we got to look at each other and we got to take it down. So I've had many nights that ended that I don't remember. But I'm sure we had a great wine event. <laughs> is that how you? Is, it, is that how you guys? I never is, did that. Is that how you guys drank in Nebraska? When y'all went? When hang you on, were hang on, hang on, hang on, hang oh. on. I want to get there. Oh my God, I want to get there. Hang Listen. on. Before we get to Nebraska, really quick, Channing, have you had Dwayne's wine? Yes. Oh, you yeah. tasted it. We had yeah, it in yeah. Cleveland. Okay. We had it in Cleveland. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you've had Channing's wine. He also sent me his white wine, and I think rosé. I like his white wine. And you've like okay, so you guys have had each other's wine. We've all had everyone's wine now, right? Yes. To this point. <laughs> yes. Because Dwayne is so good at judging. All star. Okay. Oh. He's so good at judging. Oh. Look at that shot. We he need. <laughs> no. We need. No. No. To no. Nine you know that was our wildcat Nine brother. Nine out of ten. That was our we wildcat need, brother, Aaron Gordon. Too. We need to uh, grade these wines for those that are listening, so that they go run Aaron, to the shelves and buy you. your wines, Aaron, and then we we're gonna get to you. Nebraska. So, let's start with Channing's wine. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Go buy it, everybody. Yeah, You're not gonna mistake ten. it. Here, are you? Chosen, <laughs> chosen, family, chosen family wine. Go chosen family it. wine. Channing, how, what's your what's the price point of your wines, though? I don't know. Uh, Seventy-three and sixty. Okay. But that we have, expensive. so you have 300 <laughs> of your red. I have 80 and 40. So 80 of my Pinot Noir and 40 of my Chardonnay. So uh -huh. we're such a small, tiny, 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 minuscule little bit. It's been pretty amazing to see, like, who buys it. And we don't have a store either. We're 100% e-commerce. So, like, every two weeks, I have to, like, meet up with our people in our business and be like, what city, what state, you know, where do they buy? How do they buy? What time do they buy? Like, where do people click when from? When kids get like, off of so, school, that's when they buy. <laughs> yeah, your, your wine actually, business sounds like your NBA <laughs> career. It sounds like you on scout reports when we played against you. Very minuscule well, person very on minuscule. the scout report. Listen, right, well, but, well, hold on now. I have given the Miami Heat barbecue chicken. Barbie, many, you, many have, you have given us some, some numbers. Barbecue chicken. About 15, hey, that's 16 show, points. That show and get back don't work. 
That <laughs> show and get back does not okay. work. Okay, well, unlike your fellow Wildcat, <laughs> Dwayne gave your wine a 10 out of 10, so congrats. Oh, um, what are we giving Dwayne's wine? 10 out of 10. Go buy it. Obviously 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'll, go I'll buy it. Honest, way, way. I'll give it a 9. I, obviously, I think, okay, so people who are into wine, <laughs> Rude, you right? should buy his wine and let it sit for a couple of years. Yeah. It's going to be even better, yeah. his, right? Because cabs wine? are usually yeah. like, okay. buy his wine, and then you write, uh, what I do is I write a date. So buy three or four and drink one year after year and you'll see it evolve. Like Cabernet is a bigger wine that mm -hmm. needs to grow in the bottle. So people go, they buy it and they want to open it immediately. That's not that's not how wine is supposed to be drank. It's not how it's built, right? It has to like settle into itself in the bottle. So if you buy his red wine, buy three or four, drink one year after year and you're going to say like, oh, it's like evolving. But you, but, 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 but that's, but, okay, let me, let me, let me interrupt y'all for, let me friend, interrupt like, y'all for just a real quick <laughs> second. Cause like, D Wade, you asked me, like, I was like, yo, I'm like a camaraderie social drinker. Like, yeah. if y'all are drinking wine, I'll drink wine, but I normally drink whiskey. But you're assuming, Channing, that like, I'm going to remember what the hell I drank a year ago <laughs> and the next year. And I'm going to tell you, wow, this has really evolved since, like, November of 2000. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, I forgot. Teddy, you're talking to, like, wine, like, wine connoisseurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, 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 for so for Like, this. you make notes. So this is, like, so the 2018 of this wine, I, like, the numbers on it is, like, it was sitting in a French oak barrel, a new French oak, 75% French oak barrel yeah. for two years. Oh, wow. like, it's all this nerd, right? Yeah, yeah. For like two years, and then now when it come out, like yeah, it's, you can drink it now, but you should hold it for another. Like in five years, it's gonna be amazing. Like it's all that oh, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. Amazing. Yeah, it's that nerd stuff that Channing is talking about. Listen, it'll no, be amazing, right? It's no, just, it will be way better okay, for so sure. Cabernet grapes. You got to know like the thickness of skin. Cabernet <laughs> 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 grapes. Go nerd on us. Nerd out, Channing. Tell us more, Channing. Tell us more. Save this for our little conversation we gonna have. Don't rush it. It's like look, like the dimples on the basketball when you find the groove. Like people are like, wait, what are you talking about? Save it, Channing. Let's save it. Okay, yeah, save it and let's go to Nebraska. Up next on Road Trippin'. Have you seen the video <laughs> of how I saw, we I saw. celebrate? We okay. were celebrating like we just won an NBA championship. <laughs> Take our trip to Nebraska. Jenny, tell us about Nebraska. Tell us about Listen, the Cornhuskers. So here's the thing. The wife and I were like, she kept being like, Channing, are you sure we're not intruding? <laughs> I said, even if we are, this is a trip of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever said Nebraska trip of a lifetime, but continue. <laughs> no, 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 because, okay, for us, we always love going out of our comfort zone and just being like, we, do, we don't have our kids. We're going with adults who drink, want to have a good time. And so we get on a plane and we're just talking. And the thing that I you never really a had a so you, well, Say what you got on, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. you right. You got on a private I mean, jet, sir. I, I hopped on the, the seat of your plane... <laughs> Right? Like, <laughs> because it was extra seats. It felt really good, though. I was like a ball. I was like, oh, this is nice, dog. It's nice. <laughs> Anyways, so we got on. And so I'm thinking, you know, this is just me, myself, and my wife. And we've met and done things with Gabby. We did, uh, you know, when her book came out, we did that kind of stuff. So we know she was cool. Obviously, D Wade sucks. She's the, <laughs> you know, the leader. So when we got on a plane, it's a three, four hour trip. And all of a sudden, we just start talking about all different types of things. And D-Way was talking about having great conversations. For me, uh, whether he knows it or not, her conversation just about, like, the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. and, like, what's going on with your daughter and all that kind of stuff was mind-blowing to me because I have nobody in my bubble that is informed that much. So that was already the start. So me and the wife were geeked about that, right? Like, damn, this is crazy. Like, we're better people because of this. <laughs> then okay. we went to uh, we went to the Warren Buffett thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he said, oh, change, just wear what you want, right? No big deal. So I'm like, oh, we're in Nebraska. Oh Jeans and a T-shirt. Like, this mother effer <laughs> came in a three-piece suit. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I looked like a straight. I said, Lauren, where's the bar? I said, Lauren, this... <laughs> If he didn't have us in a jet, oh, man, I'd be out, out of here. 
out of this thing. So Wait, I'm you, say, you set him up with a T-shirt and jeans, and you show up. And, uh, first of all, once it says Warren Buffett, at least the polo, Jared. At least yeah, the I polo. A polo. First of all, I was like, going on stage, I'm, so oh, okay, I have to dress apart. Did you, you tell him that? Like, yo, well, I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be in no, a suit. No, you know, we, we're guys, we don't give no, right, right information. Right. You kind of like, set him up. Like, dude, you shorts, flip like, flops, whatever you wear. It's fine. Whatever you wear, whatever you wear. That's one of the most underrated <laughs> jokes to play on a friend. Whatever you want to wear is fine. Whatever you want to wear is fine. You know, Jay, you come with the open toe uh, slides. And <laughs> Listen, so the wife and I are like, damn, okay. we. So we're going to the bar. So we have some drinks. Even though the game was amazing, we could talk about that forever. The city of Nebraska, we went to the chicken the joint. The city of Nebraska? Like, it's a state, dude. Like, it's Lincoln. <laughs> it's Lincoln, Jenning. Sorry. We went to that chicken <laughs> uh, We tried. Everyone was nice. Everything was amazing. The night that was amazing, that was next level, was after the Warren Buffett thing. We went to the hood, Richard. <laughs> the hood. The hood. Da, uh, the I hood. Bit, what happened, Jenny? Elk club. With, elk, like an elk uh, lounge. Okay. Elk lounge. Aunties, uncles. Man, listen. Snake skin you know, shoes, alligators. Skin shoes, six buttons. It's like going out in Memphis. <laughs> yep. in there. They had one type of tequila, four type of beer, <laughs> six of fantasy. But we had the greatest had time. time. We stayed up two in the, in the morning. We went to this uh, soul food restaurant and ate our face off, right? Drunk eating our face off. They gave us everything on the menu just to experience, right? Like, Obviously, Nebraska is not the most desirable place. In the words of uh, Joe Kim Noah, I don't know anybody that vacations in Nebraska <laughs> during the summer. Right? So for me, that experience between that first night we were there to you know waking up, tailgating, barely watching the game <laughs> to the night, right? Like, we don't even remember. The Nebraska went down 21-0. to zero. We said, oh, listen, what? <laughs> How does, how, does, how does Nebraska tailgate? Oh, they well, it's, so Nebraska Let's is a stop. clean arena. So oh, you can't no. bring alcohol. No, it's no alcohol sold in, in the, the arena. arena. Okay, so everyone nobody drinks tailgate outside. In, in the stadium. No, so, no, you tailgate all outside, outside or Right, around. so my point is, is how was that? Oh, no, that is, that's what you Alley. go to Nebraska football games okay. for. Alley. To tailgate. Was it better it's than Toledo? Toledo? Hey, Chenny, Chenny, did we win a championship? Did we win a championship, Chenny? Hey, look, look, look. Sneaky trick, I did. So obviously... <laughs> I could drink a little bit. I was giving no, that little can't. college kid big. Okay, y'all roofied me at Toledo. I've, I've yeah. sent a police report. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I I was giving that kid half guzzles of beer instead of just that little sip. So by the third round, his eyes were all tore up. Like he couldn't. <laughs> yeah, we were doing so flip y'all cup. cheated. So said, y'all cheated. No, I don't know what Chinese was doing on his end, but it was flip cup. You got to hold your own, right? You got to have, have you ever yeah, won? Yeah, right? but, but, but it matters f- how much you're putting in someone's Wait, wait, wait D Way, have you uh, had you ever played flip club before that moment? I played the year before, most okay. my first time, yeah. and I sucked. So much, it's so much I fun. I sucked. Right. I didn't know how hard it was. Like the pressure of everybody around, you got to flip that cup over and then don't flip. Uh, yeah. Would you, would right you say way. winning an NBA title is hard? Listen, if you've seen the video <laughs> of how I saw, I saw. celebrate, okay. we were celebrating like we just won an NBA championship. <laughs> but, okay, so that's my <laughs> point. We that's down. that's we my point, though. We were down three-one. Okay. We were that's, down. That's my point, though. We're down is you guys made this look like it was awesome and you destroyed everyone and you were like the men at this tailgate. He just said he cheated. Well, I he just that. filled. I he's a cheater. I, he's a cheater. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. I didn't know that. I, listen, I was on a, I was a closer. I was a closer Alice, on the that's a, that's a, The anchor is a hard spot to be there stressed. Jenny, well, we put him in the front somewhere. Because we didn't <laughs> no, know. No, in the front no, somewhere. No, 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 no. Let's, <laughs> let's keep it real. Whatever he had, I had. I was just saying, he said, Oh, we didn't get enough to drink last time. So I said, Oh, we've been to pull up now. <laughs> we've been one of the best beer. out of three, Tenny. It was the best out of three. Yes, and yeah. we were down to nothing. Sorry, down to nothing. We were down. We, we came, came back. You can't be down to nothing in the best out of back. three. Yeah, you can't, you can't yeah. be down to nothing in the best <laughs> out of three. No, we were down. going to yeah, change I'm, every time I tell you. I don't know. Chen, Chen, you got me over here lying. Well, we were down. We lost the first one. We had to come back and win two in a row. Let's just say Okay, that. that's fair. That's fair. All right. No. But, so, oh, but let's shoot. talk about this, Channing, in Nebraska. So we had, we did have a great time. The one thing about Nebraska when we go, it's just 
it's not the world that we live, right? Me yeah. and my wife, we live a different world and a different life. Ch Nebraska is, let's just go to the hood, let's let's be in the Elk Lounge, let's yeah. do our thing, right? Yeah. We had an amazing time. We were dancing. We did um, like music chairs. Like we were just we were. Oh, I was killing everybody in darts. Like I was tearing the whole bar, bar up in darts. <laughs> it was my night. And I know. And I bring that up because we played darts in, in San, San Antonio. Antonio, and I wasn't as good. You then. Sucked. Oh yeah. Actually, you yeah, drink more. Then. You got to drink more. And and he was done I drinking. Drink no, listen. <laughs> you were done Richard, drinking. I, I'm sorry about Nebraska. I got to jump in San Antonio. Richard, this, this is, was so the listen. night before you guys so got traded. Normally though. in Cleveland, I would go out with <laughs> LeBron and the crew, right? Yeah. And it was a that's a that's a different kind of go out, de right? de Very different. So I got to the point, and it was like I started to feel that my time was almost up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, all right, I want to do something different. I was like, Channy, I want to see how the other side lives. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hang out with you. I was like, Tenny, let me what hang out you with people? you. What do you people live what you, like? What do you live like? So I was like, Tenny, I'm going to hang out with you tonight. And by the way, he meant uh, you people so as in the broadcast The day. broadcast Prince crew. That's who we hung out Allie with. Ali Mitch. Oh, it's so awesome. Bro, we had an... Um, that was one of my best They used to go play darts all the time. In, in NBA. In Antonio. And because that's what four people do, apparently. Listen, we got, we got to, uh, what was it, Coyote Ugly? And they turned me around because oh, I didn't have my ID. <laughs> you're like I've never seen that. I've never, I'm, I'm used to getting escorted to my table. No, so with my normally models. I'm like I'm a, like, what do you mean? And I was like, you know what? This night is going so good. I'm so drunk right now off of stuff I don't drink <laughs> yeah. that I'm gonna walk back to my hotel and get my ID. Yeah, right. Because I want to go he in here and continue this different. night. I was shocked. Yeah, I was shocked too. Up next on road tripping. Next thing you know, we started making a comeback, and I saw Brian get ready oh. to check in. I'm like, oh, oh, now you want to oh, come out? I'm going to include you in this group, but even like we talked about with Bron, like it's always so intense when you're with big guy, right? Like he's like, hey, this is where we're going to go. We got this restaurant. They're going to be playing this game and we're going to be in this like corner area. Then we might go here for just, you know, a drink or two after. And so for you to say like, I want to see how the other like side lives, that's all Channing and I used to do. Like me and Channing used to either just leave that group or like show up <laughs> randomly at like This is a real in the humbling morning. moment for me. Why? Because I, I didn't know that we were the other group You're of civilians. We want to see how civilians live. We want to see how the civilians live. We want to see how the civilians yeah. live. And I, and I walked away from that with a, and I had an amazing <laughs> night. And all I know is the next night, I did what I needed to do off the bench. I came in, did my right. thing, and sat right back down. I was like, I feel good. Even though I was hungover and drunk the next morning at shoot around, I was, I felt great. Yeah, see, I got, I see, yeah. now, on a night like that, if I didn't have it, like when I was old, and I just, because look, I, 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 I swear to you, this is real. It's all about team camaraderie. So even if you're just out here, like, building team bonds, if that means that, like, you might not be able to perform the way you would like the next night, like, it's year 16. Like, just be, be, be a team guy. But, like, <laughs> those guy. are one of those ones where, like, maybe you go in the game and you get into foul trouble. <laughs> 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 you're like, two quick fouls in the first quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Two, <laughs> you ain't lying. Two, two quick lying. fouls, you're like, ah, oh, coach, I ain't got it tonight, yeah. you know? Listen, look, being with a big fella, you can think, ooh, is on fire. Then you go back to doing what you do on a regular basis. You go, oh yeah, I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. Yo, how about our performance after we took that Napa trip and we had to play the oh. Sacramento Kings? Hey, oh, yo. We got, oh, coach was on me Girl, that game. He, oh man, I say, look, what what do you expect? I couldn't even I couldn't. move out there. First, no, first of all, first of all, Sacramento happened before the Napa trip. <laughs> Did we play out? Did it? No, yeah. no, it happened yes. after. No, it was no. Golden State, after. it was Sacramento. We drove put, to Napa. Put it on the record. And then we went to Utah. Put it on the record. Put it on the record. Put it on the record. We played, because Vince Carter had 25 off the bench, and that was the, when we had left Napa. Nope. Put it no. on the record. No. Because we went up to, Senate, we went up to Sac, nope. and we was in Sac for three days, so we nope. went to Napa for like two. No. Nope. And then we played. That is true. I'm going to gonna blame your wine. I'm going to blame your, no. All right. <laughs> Richard's like, damn it, I got traded. I got traded, I got traded, so like, I don't, I wasn't, that was the one, I want to say that all the times that I was kind of like bummed because like I was hoping to end my career in Cleveland, it was like, that was the one time when everyone went to Napa and I'm hearing from like Channing, I'm hearing from Ali, like Braun and D-Wade are posting and I'm just like. A okay. case of wine from Napa. I did, I, I oh, did get a go. case of wine. Case I did get a case of wine, Napa. but I just, I was more just saying that like, I would have rather been not playing in Cleveland than to be not playing. In Denver. I'm pretty sure the Napa trip started with all of you guys drinking champagne or mimosas. Oh yeah, and, my and bad. And I wasn't in your van, but I got a mimosa and I, 
I texted Richard right away, and I was just like, don't you wish you were here with no, your people? That was, listen, we got some great moments from my quick, stu- my quick stun in Cleveland. Yo, Cleveland we got some good was moments, a, So man. you were only there a short anyway, amount of time. Short, real that short. was the same stuff that had been going on for two years. Yeah. That was the craziest thing about Cleveland is I try to express to people, like Kyle Korver said it best. So, like, you know, ev- after every game, like, guys have a glass of wine or whatever, like, flying to the next city. So we were doing that, and it started to get a little carried away. But, like, we were all professionals, right? So it's like, you can't tell us anything. But Kyle Corver, one day, we were flying to Orlando, and we had a day or something like that. And Kyle Corver sat in the back, and I, and I was like, Kyle, you all right? He's like, I've never seen guys, like, drink on the way to a city before. I've seen guys <laughs> drinking when they're leaving a city, but not on the, not way, on the, to way, the, to on the way to the city. And it was like... We grown-ass yeah, men, though. It was grown-ass men. I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I actually men. agree with you, Kyle. I don't think I've ever seen that either. No, but, right. like, that Cleveland, that stint in Cleveland was very, very, very different. Like, what was your thought when you were like, I was here for a short amount, you were there for a short amount of time, but it was also like... That what was going on for a couple years. Like, it was very well, different. Well, I mean, it's like you've seen it from the outside, right? Yeah. Let's go even back to the Knicks game when y'all was doing the, the, the bottle flip. Bottle thing, flip. No, right? He was like, God. everybody was talking yeah. but inside. He was like, damn, I kind of want to. I, I, I love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm at this point in my career. I love to have fun like yeah. that. Like, I'm running championships. Like, whatever. Yeah. It's not serious no more like yeah. that. Yeah. And it's like, damn, I love to do that. So, like, to be able to go there and be like, take these experiences out and it's like, have I have three great experiences from Cleveland that I was like in my top three of like, you know, fun. in all of my, my moments of fun. Like I've had some of them, Cleveland will enter that. And these are the nights that we're talking about, the Napa, the San Antonio, and I have another one as well. I, I got in trouble remember. for tweeting, right? Because I, I was doing that. And so like I, I, I retweeted like that video and I was like, what would, they were like, oh, this is embarrassing what, you know, like Cleveland is doing. I was like, what was really embarrassing is what we did that I saw night. you do that. <laughs> I was like, what, what? We, what <laughs> we did that? Knowing that we were going to have that same outcome. <laughs> what we did the night before, not going to sleep, and then knowing that we were still going to beat the Knicks. That's embarrassing. Yeah, people man. The, people didn't like that in New York too much. I'm pretty sure before the bottle flipping, too, you guys were down by, like, 25 to the Knicks. Oh, but then we won. Then, yeah, the whole, that's my I point. Was, hey, serious question. If that's the game where I played the whole second half, right? I think it was six minutes into the third quarter. We were down by 22. I was so – I had the biggest no, headache no, you're of my when I was life. there. You're talking about when I was there. No, that's a different – we were down when I was there. You're talking, was, about the, you're talking, yes, talking about the yes. bottle, the bottle yeah. flip. No, was not the bottle flip, I wasn't the there. The bottle flip. You guys no, were always no, down. No. But when we were there, we were down. <laughs> like, he had put the starters on the bench, and he was like, Channing D, Kyle, y'all go out there and have some fun. <laughs> hey, and they said, and we no. said, hey, listen – we, I said it was one, two, three. Sweat it out. Yeah, it was, that, was when the, that was when. Oh my God, I don't know what this is, but the fist. The yeah, fist. the uh, author, the author fist. Arthur, yeah. Brian did the author that fist. Came out, yeah, Arthur, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. then he got heads and stuff. But like, we went out there, and it was just kind of like this game over. The next thing you know, we started making a comeback, and I saw Brian get ready oh. to check in. I'm like, oh, oh, now you want to? Oh, now you want to yeah. show up? Yeah. yeah, now you want to take off all your. <laughs> Your hot packs now, and stuff. Now you want to start, like, rubbing your head hey, down and wiping we your them, chest we had, off. We had burned all of our gas. We had nothing left. To come back from 22, we, we burned That's, all our gas. I'm 99% sure I gassed up my t- whoever was guarding me through wine and booze fumes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, we, this the Knicks? I don't have to play. I get a good warm-up, sweat it out a little bit. I use the whole first half to get my electrolytes. <laughs> then I use the, the halftime, warm it up again, and then I got to play a little bit in the fourth. I make a couple shots. I say what's up to the old Knicks fans, blah, 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 and I'm good to go. We got down by 22. I said, listen, this ain't me. I said, this ain't me now. So I had to go dig deep, deep into the cellar for that one. But I was literally just sweating wine and booze that day. Yeah. Wh- wh- okay, speaking of random things I posted, I'm gonna ask you if you remember this, and it was it was it was a long, long time ago. You you posted about <laughs> you posted about oh I'm 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 gonna do a documentary on the Redeem team, and then I just posted like a uh, like a emoji face like, and you're like, <laughs> is there a problem? <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah, I kid you not. You responded to me like, is there a problem? And I was like, nah. It was just we were. Uh, I was like, the only way to talk about the Redeem team is to talk about the. Team we had in 2004. <laughs> so wait, are you doing a documentary on it? Yeah, well, so yeah, I am. I am. We we stopped because of everything that happened with with Cove and, and then the world shut down. We kind of stopped, but, but we were in the middle of filming. I, no one gives. 
about that the story is not about the redeem team. That's a terrible story. Who cares? <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. Hang we on. did but, what we were supposed to do. That, I gotta go. But you gotta I go. Have to leave. All right, we don't care. Yeah. Don't leave. I have a thing by me at TV. Okay, bye. All right, All right go get right, your bye. check, Jenny. Go, go get that money. All right, we'll talk. Up next on Road Trippin'. No, listen, LeBron, I said this. I was like, LeBron's gonna play so long that people are gonna forget that we were ever teammates. We got a couple things and then no. we'll and then we'll wrap up. No, but, but I wanna hang on, I wanna talk about this because isn't this what happened with like the whole thing that just happened this summer with Mav and Mello and talking about how him and Braun wanted to like roast <laughs> you guys or no, it was me. It was me and Sean. So like me and Sean, because they were, mad, were, they were, were, they were mad that we started over. Uh, so yeah, then like yeah, Mav yeah. was like, yeah, Mav buddy. was like, yo, yo, Melo, do you remember the conversation that you and Braun said you was going to whoop they ass next year? And I was like, look, now don't get me wrong. Like, we know like Braun and Melo are like Hall of Famers, like as are you. Like that's not a question. But I was like, Back in, o, back in 04, they were like 21, right. and I was like 24. They were like 19. They were 19. They were like 19 <laughs> and 21. I was like, I don't feel like they whooped my ass. I was like, I'll talk no, about you myself. Were, you were, you I'll were, talk about myself in you, third person. Yeah, you get numbers at that time. Yeah, 04, Richard Jefferson was a, was a bad man, yeah, right? Like, yeah. shoot, we played against each other. Too. I was, I by the way, I didn't never hated you because like, I, like you were a <laughs> respectful competitor, but like the year, you remember the year I messed up my ankle, like in game one. You actually talked some. You don't care. Uh, but, like, you guys won the championship that year. We lost to y'all two years in a row. Yeah, we played y'all, yeah. Yeah, two I years remember. in a row, and one year y'all won the championship. And that year we had a really, really good team. Like, we weren't, like, you and Shaq good, but we had a good team. Y'all was good. And well, I was, y'all had I was, you, Vince, J. Kidd, and y'all had some Yeah, some I, was, I, yeah. I was bummed. But my whole thing was this, is that, like, the story is, as much as it is about the Redeem team, like, that's basically just the U.S. doing what we're supposed to do. The real, the real story is, like, how, how much of a team was in 04. 2004. That was, yo, that, that was is, a debacle. That is a whole different story. That's a whole different story. Wait, so it's not a part of it? No, you got to. I mean, it's, but it's not the focal point. Like, that's oh. a whole nother doc. That's that, a whole nother doc. That would be amazing if it ever comes out one day. The Redeem team was more so of, this was the time where we got U.S. back to where we were and the things that went into getting us back there, yeah. right? Because, like, Kobe wasn't on the 2014, mm -hmm. oh. right? So it was, like, the things that kind of got us back to where we are now of yeah. dominance. Yeah. But yeah. 04 was a whole Yo. different kind of animal that I would love to How old were you in 04? Uh, that was after my rookie season, so I probably had, I probably turned 22. So, I but, but that's what I was trying to express to people. People always want to like talk trash about that team. And so, like, you were fortunate enough to go and win gold medals. They were kind of over me at that point in time. I'm being uh, drunk walking out of here. I'm yeah, that's, that's the best I do. Yeah. That's the whole well, point. Yeah. But the market funny, research, everybody. Market <laughs> research, RD, RD. RD. No, but the funny thing about it was that, like, we were all meeting each other for the very first time. <laughs> like, we played against each other. Like, you were in Miami right. as a rookie, but, like, we played against you, you know, three, four times. Never met the dude, don't knew it. So, right. like, right before training camp, before going to the Olympics in Jacksonville, you're like, hey, Dwayne, nice to meet you. I'm Richard. Right. And you're just like, and then, like, two weeks later, we're competing against the world. That was a recipe for disaster. And it was disaster. It was a disaster. Yeah. Like, I had front row seats. So I mean, I might have played, <laughs> played nine minutes. LeBron played six, and Melo played even less. My right. thing so was, we have front I, row what? seats. I didn't want to pull this one. Let, let me go back. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not the player. No, 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 no. But listen, let me, let me, let me, I want to go back for this reason. So you remember how they have they have the U.S. select team, right? Mm -hmm. Before they had they 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 started the U.S. select player. So like I was the U.S. select player on the U.S.A. team the year before. So the in 2003, 2004 for the Olympics, nine guys say no. They're like like mm -hmm. Vince, Ray they Allen, all, pulled out. all of them pull, nine KG, guys pull out. All of KG, uh, J Kid, Mike Bibby, uh, Kenya Martin, everyone pulls out. So that's how we get the super young team. Yep. So I I played. I had like five or six DMPs in the USA team the year before. I was just there to kind of watch and hopefully as as it progressed, you know, a year from now, two years from now, like I would be on the team. So I don't, like, I don't play at all. So all of a sudden, like, Larry Brown's like, well, you've been here with us, so we might as well start you. And I was like, I, oh, okay, but I didn't play last year either. <laughs> so then all of a sudden, it's not, it was, it didn't turn into a beef, but it was like, there was definitely some, like, young testosterone-filled egos involved. Yeah. 
but not in a way like we were we were all cool. We were cool, but we like cool. we we had we did have some uh, against you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because like you know in practice we was like we'll get together like yo let's beat their ass. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like, and, and it's, and you got to understand at that time in the NBA too, like, I come from Miami. It wasn't, I didn't know Richard because we yeah, did yeah. fraternize. It wasn't no fraternizing. It wasn't no fraternizing. I never that time talked, in the NBA. had a word. I never said a word to D Wade. Right. I never met him before. So we get to practice and like, we're like, it's, it's mellow. It's, it's me. It's Amari. Amari. It's, like, we got the young gun. Like, we call ourselves the young guns. And we were, and you know, older vets, they ain't not taking practice serious. Well, but but we I wasn't older. That. I was 24. Right. At the you time. were younger. Right. Was, you, yeah. Lamar, uh, Sean Marion, y'all were like, y'all were. Tim in, Duncan. Yeah, yeah. Like, Tim was, you know, one of the best. I, I don't know, Iverson, Stefan, all of them. But we were sitting there like, we can help this team like, mm -hmm. as we go on. But like, we didn't get the chance. We really didn't get a real shot. Like, for me, I couldn't even pass the free throw line. And I was, <laughs> I didn't. I, like, whenever I pass the free throw line, they'll take me out. The, and I was no, like, no, 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 no. Don't say I, they. Say Larry Brown. <laughs> say, just say his name. The say say his damn name. name. If, if, if I, know, Larry, I can't stand. You? I know, look, look. Larry Brown's not a bad dude. Like, I have a tremendous amount of respect. I love Larry Brown. I, I have a tremendous amount of respect me. as a Hall of Famer. But he motivated you from a negative space. <laughs> he motivated me to be better. That's all I'm saying. I love Larry Brown. Uh, but in, in the Olympics at the time, it, it, it's just a style of the game. He wanted point guards to be a certain way. And I'm not like a traditional point guard. Mm -hmm. So like I'm, you know, I'm athletic. I'm trying to get to the basket. But whenever I went past that free throw line, or the, he was they like, take you out. Oh, come Jason, on, come on, sit over here. I'm gonna have you on here and not ask about the big fella. Who's the big fella? Shaq or LeBron or I mean, I play with a lot Isn't of big it fellas. Funny? Who, Isn't it funny how that's where? Who's the big fella? The big fella, your boat buddy. Oh, LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. That big fella. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about them before we go. We got a we got, we on 20 late. seconds. Congratulations to the Lakers on winning. <laughs> All right, and we're moving on. <laughs> no, listen, LeBron, I said this. I was like, LeBron's going to play so long that people are going to forget that we were ever teammates. Yeah. They'll forget that we got drafted the nah, same time. because y'all won the first. Y'all won it together. Y'all won that first one. Well, he's going to play so – listen, he's going to literally play so long, Richard. You really think so, I'm going to be so retired in about yes, seven man. years, and he's going to still – like, you're going to be like, all right, I'm ready. Came in, he came in in my third year – and I played 17 <laughs> years. I played like, yeah, because oh, it was like my third year was y'all rookie year, I believe. Oh, three. Oh, oh, three. When you got drafted in 2000? Yeah. Uh, 2001. 2000, okay. 2000, 2001 was my. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And so um, I played 17 years. That man's going to play like, and I've been retired for two. He's going to play five more. So, like, I'm with you. Like, the dude is never going to, it's going to be a long time. You've only been retired for two years? Yeah. No. Damn. No, no, okay. Yeah, this, this is, is you're, this. you're in three. Okay, so yeah, you so, have to be. I'm retired no, no, no. going into two coming no, up. Well, I'm going was... into three. I retired yeah. one year I, after that, after I left Cleveland, you, you I played, played that year. year in Denver and then I retired. So I'm entering, okay, yeah. into, okay. I'm entering into year three, you're entering into year two. Right, you're right. It goes fast. Yeah. Like we talk about like playing goes fast. That kind of goes fast. Like, damn, I'm already into year I, three. Listen, I, I'll tell people all the time as people say, don't you, you miss basketball and all this and that? I was like, you know what? I'm actually a happy retired person because. Yeah. I gave basketball all I had. Like, yeah. I had nothing left once yeah. I left the game. Like, you know, can I score 10 points or 12 points or 20 points on a certain night? Yeah. But I ain't really got it. Like, yeah. it's going to take everything out of me to yeah. get to that point. So I walked away from the game like, oh, all right, you got everything out of me game. Yeah. So now I'm just enjoying life that I've never – I'm experiencing things I've never experienced before. And uh, it's different, but it's cool at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm having fun in retirement just because it's like – I did that. Like, 16-year NBA career, I'm, I'm, I mastered that. Yeah, I did what yeah, I was supposed done. to do. Yeah. Now, there was nothing like, left to do. Huh? There was nothing left to do. There was nothing left to do. Yeah, you know, yeah. they tell you these are the things you need to do when you come in as a player. I accomplish all those things. So it's like, all right, you move on, and you let the next generation. It came to a point where I was like, let me get out the way. Yeah. Because I'm just going to sit on here and take this little uh, lead minimum for no reason. Like, I, once I got to lead minimum, Richard, I was like, it's time for me to go. All right, look. Because obviously I'm, I'm not that good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I still, well, yeah. I still commend the both of you and Channing at that. I know he's gone, but like to your point, you guys have found passions outside of and beyond. We still know, we still see your faces, we still see the passions, and, and it may not be what we all thought it was or what you guys have been known to be between the lines. Outside the lines, you guys are still great. You still are doing what you want to do. You have the sports gap, your show. Mm -hmm. um, you have your you're game great. show. By the way, you're very good on Thank TV. I, I appreciate you know that. that. I yeah, appreciate you guys that. are on television. You have wine. Like, there's endeavors out there that, at the end of the day, it's just not basketball. And it's not what defines who you guys are. So, no, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's fun. Cheers to the both of you. Um, cheers. And Channing, I'm, of course. I'm tipsy.
This is the second. This is the third time I did road tripping. I don't even. Third, third. 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 And yeah. I've been drunk every, every time. time. You're That's welcome. That's what road tripping is. That Thank is another guys. edition of road tripping. Thank you guys. So glad to have you. Thank you. Cheers.